Welcome to Tobble's Electric Skateboard Channel. He's the king of DIY and he likes to double. With guns and drones and safety gear and all that kind of thing. So let's get started. I'll end this venture with them. And you probably thought there's gonna be a thick wad of cash in there. No. I've got my LiPo batteries stored in the fire uh, retardant bag and in the cash safe. And this is what I would recommend you guys do as well because batteries are unpredictable, but at least I don't trust them at all. So a continuation of my did you know videos and really guys, all my subscribers, if you are still interested in those type of videos, I think it's probably a video of, I don't know, 9 or something like that, please let me know if they're useful at all, because if they're not, I'm going to stop wasting my time. Anyway, today is all about the batteries, charges, and the low voltage indicators. So, I've got myself the low voltage indicator from Hobby King. It's quite nice. It does this nice, loud sound. When the battery drops down on the voltage and this is the sound it makes when the battery is low what i did not realize are these bad boys set to 3.3 volt i got stuck with the voltage indicator beeping away for about a mile before i got home and what happened the battery got discharged to the point where my charger cannot see it as 6s battery this is a 6s battery the charger comes up with 5s it won't charge because it's telling me the voltage choice was incorrect so what do you do did you know that you can fix your battery if it went down the voltage people do recommend to use the treadmill yep the one you would use in the gym Put your board on it, spin it, and apply the brake slightly. So you use your own board and the motors to recharge the battery. You go through that threshold where the battery is over 3.5-3.7 uh, uh, volt per cell. Depends on your charger, how sensitive it is. And then you apply a normal charger. You can also have someone towing you around the block on the car or whatever other electrical skateboard or push bike, and you do the same. What I found to work on a cheap or cheaper uh, LiPo balance charger is and yes I do use the bag while I'm charging the battery as well just in case and I rest it on an aluminium plate for the heat to be dissipated from the charger itself and also just in case I can pick up the whole lot take it outside and chuck it in a garden if it's about to spark up guys please remember not to leave any batteries on charge or any boards on charge by themselves don't leave them home or overnight always be home be aware you're charging something and check on them every hour or so or less if you have some sort of suspiciency about your battery so as you can see I have chosen the 6s battery we're going to check the battery first. The battery has been checked and all of a sudden it comes up with 6S being a choice for the charger. This is the programmable part. And the real reading is 5 cell instead of 6. This is the problem when you discharge the battery, the LiPo battery, too low. So what we're going to do is, guys, we're going to verify this uh, choice. And we are going to start charging the battery as it is. So if you take a look, one cell, which is the second cell, is about 0.2 volt lower than others. But it's still charging. This uh, charge is quite sensitive. So in about five minutes, it will come up with the fault. And here we go. The charger went on fault after about five minutes, but if you notice, the voltage of every cell actually has gone up. And it is very, very equal throughout the cells. 355, 355, 
354 jump into 355 so pretty much at the moment this perfect situation every cell is balanced out so we keep on resetting the charger every time it goes on fault until we go over that low low voltage of the cutoff point and the charger stays on permanently you reset it then one more time and you'll see that when you check the battery for cells or the charger checks the battery for cells the 5s will turn into 6s so guys and as simple as this the battery that you thought is now fried is actually back to life I've noticed that my charger starts recognizing every cell after every cell is roughly at about 3.6 volt all the charges are different so bear that in mind test your charger but at least this is something you can do or try before you put these batteries into the recycling place obviously you don't throw this into the bin we are trying to save the mother earth yes yes and yeah that's it so if you found this video helpful you know what to do thumbs up blah blah, blah hit the bell button and as i mentioned earlier let me know if you find this did you know esk8 series of videos helpful and i will carry on with them if not don't waste my time Ride safely.